Stay healthy. Our lifestyle and food habits today are different from ancient times. We have become more conscious about our health. We eat nutritious food, exercise daily and take precautions against different diseases. But in ancient times, people did not understand about diseases and therefore did not know how to cure them. At that time diseases were considered to be the curse of God. Today, modern education, advancement in medicines and new technologies have made the life of people more protected and healthy. Let us read about the developments in the field of medical science. Clinical Thermometer The clinical thermometer was invented in 1714 by Gabriel Daniel Fahrenheit. The normal temperature of human body is about 37 degrees Celsius or 98.4 degrees Fahrenheit. When we fall ill, sometimes our body temperature increases above the normal temperature, it is said to have fever. In the ancient times, people used to judge the temperature either by touching the body or by feeling the pulse. Now, we have clinical thermometer. THR is a scale printed between 95 degrees Fahrenheit and 110 degrees Fahrenheit on it to show the temperature of the body. The thermometer is placed either in the mouth or under the armpit for about one minute and an accurate reading is obtained. The exact idea of temperature helps the doctor to treat the patient properly. Some thermometers have both Fahrenheit and Celsius scales. Nowadays, both analog, mercury, and digital thermometer are available to check fever. Stethoscope When you fall ill, you visit a doctor. Usually, the doctor examines your chest and back with a stethoscope. Do you know why does he do so? The doctor is able to listen to your heartbeat and your breathing clearly through this instrument. It helps him to find out what you are suffering from. The stethoscope was invented by French scientist René Lainec. The invention was inspired by an incident of two children, whispering through hollow log of wood. Doctor tried this with a rolled up newspaper and kept it on patient's chest. This is how he got the idea to invent the stethoscope. Microscope A microscope is an instrument that makes very small objects look big. The earliest microscope was invented by a Dutch spectacle maker called Zacharias Janssen. Once, he happened to look at a fly through two lenses placed one behind the other. He was surprised to see that how big the fly looked. He used this observation to invent the flea glass, which could magnify things. Galileo Galilei learnt about the invention and improved on it. He used two lenses to make an early version of the microscope. Over time, scientists improved upon Janssen's invention to make newer versions of the microscope. The microscope has been an important instrument in the fight against diseases. With its help, scientists were able to see, for the first time, the germs that cause diseases. Scientists have been able to identify the disease the patient is suffering from. Modern Machines Today, many types of instruments and machines have been developed. The X-ray machine which allows rays to pass through bodies, gives pictures of the bones and internal organs of the body. Ultrasound Connecticut scanners and MRI machines are some examples of other important instruments used in medical world. Surgery and Anesthesia Sometimes, to treat a defective organ in the body it is necessary to cut open the body and operate the organ. This is known as surgery. The doctor who conducts the surgery is known as surgeon. Surgery was very painful in earlier times, but now doctors give anesthesia to the patients to make them unconscious. Chloroform was the first drug to be used as an anesthetic. The first surgery using chloroform was performed on the 18th of November 1847. In ancient India, surgery was practiced by Sushrota. Antibiotics Bacteria are germs which cause several diseases such as tuberculosis, cholera, and typhoid. Bacteria can be killed by using antibiotics. 
In 1928, Alexander Fleming discovered a drug called penicillin which could prevent the growth of bacteria. He used the drug to cure many types of bacterial infections. Chloromycetin and streptomycin antibiotics were discovered later. The discovery of antibiotics was an important milestone in the development of medicines. Vaccination We are surrounded by many dreadful diseases. Medicines such as antibiotics cure diseases but vaccines prevent diseases. If a person is vaccinated against a disease, his body develops the ability to fight the germs that cause the disease. The first vaccine was discovered against the dreadful disease smallpox. This disease was a major cause of death in 18th century. An English doctor, Edward Jenner observed that people who had a disease called cowpox did not suffer from smallpox. So, he injected cowpox germs into the body of a young boy. A few weeks later he injected him with smallpox germs, but the boy did not get smallpox. Thus, discovered a vaccine for smallpox. Since then, vaccines have been developed against many diseases such as polio, tuberculosis, typhoid, and hepatitis. But unfortunately, no effective vaccine has been developed for the dangerous disease AIDS, caused by a virus, a kind of germs known as HIV. Pasteurization French scientist Louis Pasteur discovered that heat can kill harmful germs present in milk by boiling at a very high temperature between 60 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius for half an hour followed by rapid cooling. This method of killing germs is called as pasteurization. Nowadays, pasteurized milk is available in polypacks and is free of germs. Antiseptics Joseph Lister, a surgeon, noticed that after operations the patients died due to infection in the wounds. He tried various ways but failed. Then, he studied Pasteur's finding about germs. He realized that germs cause the infections in the wound. He used the chemical called carbolic acid, before performing a surgery. The deaths due to infection came down dramatically. Lister discovered the first antiseptic, a chemical that kills germs. Keeping healthy We can stay healthy by following simple rules. Eat balanced diet. Avoid junk food. Keep your surroundings clean. Maintain personal hygiene. Drink plenty of water. Exercise regularly. Visit your doctor regularly. Prefer walking and cycling for nearby places. Prefer outdoor activities instead of excess usage of computer, cell phone and television. Practice yoga regularly.